Plum's morning, noon, and night show. Very pleased to be joined by Chris Peter Green from Agro Studios. <laughs> well, we'll get that up. Don't you worry. Uh, very pleased to be joined. Thanks so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, nice definitely. to be here. Uh, you know, we're here talking about, you've been here past, the past couple weeks talking a little about, about green architecture, ways to cut down on the environmental impact uh, of your home and of buildings. Now, one thing that you first talked about, which I think we should bring up, is that a building is actually the biggest provider of CO2, much well, bigger than people think. The, it, it's in the status of things, everybody's focused on vehicles and, and reducing uh, vehicle emissions, but ultimately, buildings consume more energy than vehicles in the overall scope of things. And so my desire is to, to really drive that point home and, and to help us begin to have the dialogue of how we can really affect the energy consumption here in the valley. Now let's bring it home into the valley. Let's talk about natural ventilation techniques. Yep. And we do have a graph, a, a chart that we'll get up there in yep. just one second. But if you could yep. just explain what a natural ventilation technique is. Um, well. What the idea is the idea is to naturally uh, uh, ventilate a space instead of using mechanical means to do so. So th this is an it's actually an ancient technique that has been used in climates all over the world before we had mechanical systems to do that. So it uses, uh, for instance, air shafts. It creates uh, openings in strategic uh, places around a building um, that. Uh, allow air to move through and out and collect heat and, and exhaust it out of a building. Commensurately, we can use the same techniques in passive uh, solar so that we can heat spaces and move that heat throughout a building in, a, in what's called a passive technique, not, uh, not a, uh, a mechanical technique, to help distribute air without having to use a whole lot of fans and a whole lot of uh, large mechanical equipment to do that. All this mechanical equipment uses energy. And so the idea is to reduce that energy consumption by using natural means to do so. Now, can, can we do this to a building? Does this have to be done to a building right when you build? Does this have to be in plans from the ground up? Or can this be done retro, retroactively? Well, it's ideal if you do it while you're designing the building because then you can incorporate spaces into it and really purposely do that. But we can go back into and ventilate a, a building afterwards. It's a little more tricky. It requires a little structural modification. We have to you know, deal with some electrical issues if we're doing louvers and, and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and, and if we're putting uh, photovoltaics on to control those louvers. But we can do it. It's just a matter of, of, of really putting more study into the space and getting there. Now, if somebody wants to find out more about this, they think this could be a good option, especially up here in, in their community. How mm -hmm. can they get in touch with you? Uh, you can call me. Uh, my studio phone is 748-9474. Uh, and uh, we are uh, on the web, www.agostudios.com. And my email is chris at agostudios.com. Perfect. So we'd love to be a part of it. There's, there's great uh, opportunities up here. Um, and we've got natural winds. and. We've got past, We've got great solar that'll help us get there. So, using all of those things, we can do it. And one thing that you you always like to emphasize is that we should take a leadership role here yeah. in, in the community. We have the resources. Well, we have uh, business leaders from all over the world that have chosen to live in the valley, and they have tackled enormous uh, business, economic challenges, that sort of thing. These are the leaders, the thought leaders, the change agents in the, in the country and in the world. These are the guys that can grab the, the challenge. And, and so this is no different than any other business challenge. This is an opportunity to exhibit leadership and show the world what we can do and bring a sustainable model and a, and a sustainable economic model to the places that we live in and work in and play in up here. Chris, thanks so much for joining us. Thank Look you. forward to seeing you the next two you weeks bet. when you come back and talk about uh, the next couple things in our series. Look forward to it. You can reach Chris Green at agostudios.com for more information. Keep it here on Channel 16 Plum TV. We'll be right back. I didn't get it. That thing was... That thing was... Yeah.